So here at Fire Station 4 and our dispatch center, uh, we kind of work um, together with LAPD's units. At the dispatch center, we're kind of separate in the sense that uh, we don't necessarily go out on calls with the Fire Station 4 members. We take calls, we take 911 calls, we uh, dispatch our members not only here at Fire Station 4, but all throughout the city, fire department. We'll, uh, we'll run fires, we'll run brush fires, we'll help with medical calls, we'll assist with CPR if necessary. So we do go through formal training uh, to be an actual dispatcher. We also have uh, what's called CEs or continuing edu education classes, courses, that kind of stuff where we need to kind of redo our hours so that we, we maintain our um, credentials, our ability to be a dispatcher. Not only as a dispatcher, but as a firefighter and a paramedic, we kind of lean on each other to um, listen to each other, just to listen to each other's griping, little things about the job that kind of other people won't necessarily understand or won't really want to listen to. We also have the gym, you know, it's a really easy and great way to get rid of some stress. When I went to uh, my senior year of high school, I changed schools and I was introduced to a friend named Fernando and he uh, introduced me to the uh, Explorer program, which is now the Cadets, kind of a junior firefighter program. Through that, I, um, I just kind of got a little bit more interested in it. I started applying for jobs when I was 18, as soon as I could. Finally, I got LA City's um, approval. They gave me a conditional job offer and I took it through my Explorer program. I also was introduced to what's called a wildland firefighting program. You see the guys in green pants and, and yellow jackets going out to the brush fires. And we basically hike out to the fire, cut some line around the fire to protect any area that's unburned and um, help them put it out. The perks is definitely getting to help people which you know, it, it is for some people, but for me, it's not really for me. It's not working behind a desk and just helping a corporation get bigger. It's, it's actually helping individuals because you know, they got their finger stuck in a gate or they're having a heart attack or their loved one is injured or sick or something like that, or their house is on fire. I think it, it does have a lot to do with the people that you work with. You do end up leaning on them a lot, just if nothing else, just to listen to you and to talk. There are definitely opportunities and they, they are there. The advice that I would give though is to really think about whether or not this job is for you. So really do some research, um, talk to people, come to the fire station, take a visit, talk to the guys that are here, talk to the other ladies that are here. Um, just find out if this is really for you and if you want to put that kind of time and effort into it.